Well, good morning. It's Nancy today. This is very interesting. I haven't been able to make videos for a long time because I'm limited by where I am online, right? Because I have to do everything live because our internet is so slow. So, we're going to do the Starlink thing, I think. Or, maybe not. My daughter has Starlink. Maybe I could just make videos on my Zoomy camera, and like I used to, and go over there and just upload them. Wouldn't that be cool? Like here my uploading speed is like 5 or something. Maybe it's 50. I think it's 5. It's very slow. And so I can't make videos and upload. They have to be live or they don't come. Not from here. Anyway, so um, then, so if I go to my, if I make them and then go to my daughter's, I could just upload them at her house. So I'm going to try it. So I'm going to make a video. And I have, I have lots of things I'd like to make a video of. But um, right now, what I want to do is not that. So I want to do what I want to do. So we're going to do what I'm going to want to do, which is hang up my grapes. So this is like a test. See if it works. Okay, so I've got these grapevines. And I've had these grapevines for many, many years. And they have been in this spot. This spot, it's interesting because this spot has gone through many phases. It was, there was um, an arched area here, and then there was a, a different time. There were all these sticks. Uh, you know, it was a, what did they call it? A pergola? And I tried to get the grapes on it, and it just was not happening. And I, the grapes were not planted in the right places is the problem. You have to have the grapes in exactly the right places. And then you can build a pergola and have it climb up the corners and go over it or something like that. So, I don't have that, but I have a tree. And here's what we've got. Let me show this to you now. Okay, so look at this zoomy camera. Oh my gosh, I love this camera. I have not used it for a long time. So, um, these are the grapevines. And I don't, I guess I didn't show you last year either because I didn't have a camera thing. Um, so, so look, there's even grapes. You see, if it were up on a, on a pergola of some sort, where are they? Stem, where's the stem? What am I looking at? I want to look right there. There it is. The grapes. Notice the shaking. It's got this, it's a really good zoomy camera. I mean, it goes to 70x. 70. That's really close. Like, you get a pair of binoculars and they 10, and if you go to 12, well, it shakes so much you can't see anything. This has stabilization on it, so it'll, it'll kind of make it go like that. Anyway, so here we have a situation. So, I want this grapevine to somehow become a trellis. So we have this new front porch. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Isn't that cool? I hung up my, I hung up my um, snowshoes like that because that's what people do when they decorate their house, right? And, and I, I'm trying to be socially acceptable. It's so hard. Okay, so I have, <laughs> this looks like such a mess. Um, so I have these dog wires. I got them like $3.99 each or something like that. So I got a bunch of them. So I'm going to loop them over and then, you know, it's got this funny end so it can slide up. So I think that one is fine. I, this is stuff that was in there. You know, I think I'm just going to get rid of them because I don't use them. So if nobody ever sits there, I mean, I have this little cove area made there. Yeah, you haven't seen a lot of stuff here. Aren't they pretty? What's wrong? Why is this camera shaking like that? What's it doing? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so... That's right, we're doing this. Let's get another one. Dollar store stuff, eh? Four dollars? I think that's pretty good. 30 pounds, 20 feet, or 6 meters. So it takes more than one to get it up there. But this next one will maybe go... I should put another one up here. 
that's looped like that. Let me show it to you. Look at this zooming camera. Isn't this amazing? So this has got one of those clamps on it at the end. Anyway, so so I'm going to add this to the end of that. Go around that tree. Oops. Go around that tree and come back over here. So I'll put another one up there. So let me just... I'd much rather have things packaged this way than packaged with all that plastic. Isn't it amazing that our children are the generation that's going to fix it? Like, it really wasn't a problem that affected any of us, this heating up. But our children, it really will affect them. So, but they can do all kinds of stuff, and they're, they're problem solvers. They're an amazing generation. They're going to solve all these problems and get themselves through and have a nice life until whatever happens, happens. But it's cool. It? it gives you hope, eh? Like this climate crisis. I know a lot of people don't think it's happening, but anyway, whatever. Everybody can believe what they want to believe, and I choose to believe it is happening. So you can choose it isn't if you'd like, because that's your choice. So I'm, I'm doing this and leaving, you know, maybe two meters. You know what a meter is, right? It's just a yard plus, I don't know, six inches or something. Did you ever get fabric and you, and they cut it in yards and you always see that there's a meter thing at the, you know, just a few inches away. So a meter and a yard are pretty much the same, except when you get into big things. So, um, yeah, and a mile is 8,520 feet and three feet in a meter, or in a yard, about. Look at, this. Look at this guy. I put these grapes out here because I wasn't ready. There were some good ones left. Look, there he goes. So I put these grapes out here because they were attracting too many bugs in the house. And of course, so the bugs are attracted out here, but every time I walk by, if there's still a good grape, I'll eat it, right? So now this, this red squirrel. Red squirrel has shown up. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to do this. So I've wrapped it like this, and I've got a long enough thing oops, that I can hold on to the end, because otherwise this will either just go right over and fall down, or whatever. So anyway, so I'm going to... So I'll hold the end. Um, and we shall throw this. Let's see if I can throw it and hold the camera at the same time. I gotta handle the camera and that piece with the other hand. Okay, and now I'll throw this one through that hole, if possible. So I'm holding it like this. So this part, which is, I don't want it to unravel, and that becomes the weight, and the weight will get it over that. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have to aim right, though. It helps if you're not moving a camera and looking through a camera thing. Not enough weight. Okay, so we'll hold all of this. I'll we'll swing and have it go up. No, that's not going to work that way, right? Let's make it smaller. And we'll throw it all together. And I think I'm going to throw it this way. Oh, all right, that didn't work. So, let's do it this way. Oops. Come on. the bird feeder in case you wondered. You know this is the best thing for loneliness. Like I have been really the first year of COVID and self-distancing was okay was okay. I was fine. I did things the normal way but it's it's harder. Somehow everything is different. And anyway my my head's not screwed on right anymore. So but you know what? Service 
thinking of someone else, doing some act of service makes you happy. And you know, when I do these videos, it always makes me happy. Always. And so I realized that if I want to be happy, I have to do service. And by doing this, I do service because maybe somebody somewhere likes looking at this and maybe it'll help them if they are too. They also are, you know, what is it? So, so here we go. Let's see if I can throw it. I know you can't see it right up there, but at least I, I'll get it up there perhaps. There we go. Okay. So, now, so I'll hook this onto here. I guess I'll go to the middle. Well, maybe I should go here. Isn't this cool? This is an excellent liner. 20 feet for $4 is how much? 50 cents a foot? 20 feet. Half of 20 is 10. Half of 4 is 2. 10 for $2. What's that? 20 cents each. So, 20 cents a foot. So if you were buying this wire, which it looks like it's a, um, I suppose it's, it's aircraft cable, but it's, I guess it's an eighth of an inch. Is that what it says on here? Probably says that on here. No, you're supposed to just know that. Anyway, the hook swivel 365. Isn't that good to know? All right, so here we go. This is going to go over. Now I need another one, which is going to connect this one with the other one that's too short. So, we'll t so we're going to take one to the tree. Good thing we have one left. I bought them all, naturally. Oh, no, I have two left. Okay, so. Anyway, so making these videos makes me happy. So try it. If you need to be happy and it's just not working for you, Oh, there's another trick I've been using today which really works. Every time I have a thought which involves how miserable I am, um, I think of what I'm thankful for. I think, thank you for this challenge. Thank you for this opportunity to have grapes. Thank you for this opportunity to, you know, and then as I'm saying thank you, I realize he is there and he gave me that stuff. And I keep looking around then and thinking, whoa, look at all this good stuff. Thank you for this chair. Thank you for that chair, which I never use. And what I've learned about having chairs I don't use. Have we learned anything? I don't know. Me and learning. It's a slow process. Anyway, probably once a hoarder, always a hoarder. I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure that I am a hoarder. I think that I have a lot of supplies for projects, and I have too much of everything. Like, I asked for some fleeces from a person that cuts sheep fleece. That's his job. And a lot of them are not sellable because they're too rotten, or, or not rotten, but they're, they're, um, they're too dirty. That's us see it, they're too dirty. Or the hairs are way too short, like they've cut them wrong and it's lots of little hairs. Anyway, so this guy gave me all these fleece. One of them is five years old. The fibers are like six inches long. I mean, no spinning. This is my rug. Anyway, I'm making all kinds of stuff from this. I'm learning how to dye fleece, how to felt it. I know how to felt it, but I'm going to try and felt different things. Right now I've been felting a bunting bag over a baby, a, bit, a doll, and the kids just want to change its clothes. That's all they want to do. But what else do you do with a baby? Look at it. If you change its clothes, you have a purpose. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to put this around and come back with it. Now where are you going to be looking? I'm going to have to look in the right direction. You know, this is going to work. So that's the tree there I'm going to tie it to. Look, my nails are almost not dirty. It's the middle, beginning of the day, you see. Only had time to get them a little bit dirty. Everything makes my nails dirty. Everything. Okay, here we go. So I don't want them to cross particularly, but I don't want them under it either. So this is going to go over here on this side of the wire.
sort of clamps to hold the stuff in place. Otherwise, it's all going to slacken right up. Right, those clamps. I guess I should just go get the clamps, right? I have some. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't get your panties in a knot. No, don't get your, don't get your somethings in an uproar. What's that? How do they say that? I guess you can't just tell me because this is not live. This is recorded. I no longer have YouTube on my phone. Because I didn't have room. I have too many pictures. I'm supposed to upload them to, they're supposed to be automatically uploading to this cloud thing. Okay, so we got these three wires now. So, here we go. Let's see what we can do. So, I I tentatively this one has fallen. No, that wasn't the same one. So, what I did last year with these, I I got too many. What do I do? How many of these do I take off and which ones? Do you know? Like, how do I know that? I guess I gotta go on YouTube. Okay, so this one should go on this first wire, right? That one over there should go on the second. So we're gonna take this back off of there. Back off. Okay, so. Good job. But you know, you don't want to do that. Like, you're supposed to have three from one plant, right? So this black, is this, this brown one is one. And what do we do with all these that come off of it? I mean, if they take them off, there's nothing there. I, I don't know what to do without that. Okay, so we got to go around this again. I guess I should go learn about grapes. Like, why didn't I do that? So I tried, I cut. I, I, last year, what I did is I covered, I laid all these branches from the main one down. I laid everything down. And then I... A little lilac in here. Do I want it in here? Probably not. Maybe. Okay, so this has got to go under there, and this one is what's got to come out of here. I'd probably feel better if you were not going to drag around this way. Okay, so this one is going to go on line number two. Okay, here we go. It's line number two. Pull it all down, all right, darlings? I think you need to be somewhere else. I think you are probably not getting a very good view. Uh -oh. As I try to wrap this line around that one. I'm not going to do a lot of wrapping. I'm going to see what I have to do with it. When they're all standing up, maybe it'll make more sense. Okay, so this one I have going that way because it's short. Okay, now to get out. Ah, you may not live here. Neither may you. You've had a good life. It's been a good life all in all. Ooh, that was not the tune. It's been a good life. It's been a good life all in all. Nope, don't know the tune anymore. Okay, so how... Which is next? Yeah, this one is next, I guess. Well, what if it could go that way? Like, what if I put a, a wire over that way? Because this one 
if I put it on this one, okay, maybe that could go on this one. The next one, that one is over on that one. What about this one? This one can come to the middle one then. See, but I have more because I put, I laid everything on the ground. I covered all of it with dirt and then many came out of each branch. Like I buried this, okay, and then from each of these I got a new plant, a new big tall thing. And that's what all this is. This is all the new ones. And I was going to cut between them now and just leave them cut and let them grow. And then in this fall I could remove them because I cut, I cut them off before and I put one, I planted one over here. See, there's the fleece I was telling you about. I kid you not. My, per, per, my, my first objective with it was to... What was I going to make? Okay, so the grapevine didn't make it. As you can see, it doesn't exist anymore. It is not growing. No grapevine. But that's what happened when I cut it off. And then waited just a little while. A couple weeks or something or a month. And then I... I kneel to pray Where am I looking? Okay, so I see that's what you can see then. So maybe this one in these. No, wait, that whole thing needs to come up.
I have something happening. Look at this. I have some, I have a piece that has rooted. I have to get my cutting thing. Look, it's rooted. Oh, I gotta get that thing. There's the rooting. But cutting, cutter, cutter, cutter. Now, don't look at my house. Or my fleece on the floor. Or the groceries that are not been put away. Will that work? No, let's get the other ones. If they're still there where they belong. Yeah, I'm starting to put my warp on. And then I'm going to make a rug just like that one. See, it's falling apart. This is my, my, birch, my cedar bark skirt. I'll show it to you later. Well, anyway, okay, we're going to get some clippers and we're going to salvage that grape with the root. Clippers, clippers, clippers. Now, why aren't the clippers here? Wouldn't that be nice? There they are. I'm trying to get organized. I just got this little rack. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, you want to see what I've been doing out here? I'm making gardens. Making them all around the edge, so I need more manure around there. And I'm covering this whole tree that we took down. That is the stump of it right there. Ta-da! Anyway, so we're... Um... Anyway, isn't this pretty? So I'm covering the stump because it grew up here, so I thought it should die here and be there and give back. So everything came from here, so it's all going back here. And I don't want to split it because I don't feel like I don't have any energy enough for that. So these are... What are they? Carpathian bluebells? Or do they have a different name? If you notice, look at this. We're kind of off track, but this is kind of a rambling video anyway. So look at this. Aren't they beautiful? I'm going to go like this and try and let you see inside them. work against the sky, is it? It's just not going to work. Anyway, they're pretty. And this, all of this, this leaf here, so this is a whole bed of these beautiful flowers. So, what do I do? Do I fertilize them? Leave them there and have a beautiful bed of all this purple? Or do I take them and move them to other places? Maybe on the hillsides, maybe in the valley. Maybe it could spread and become beautiful purple flowers everywhere. Anyway, that's the thought. These hydrangeas, all you have to do to move them, to, to, to make more. See, now look at how many I've got. I had one when I came here. So you, you get into the main plant, you dig it up, and you cut the root. Or you can very carefully take it all apart. So there's one, wherever you see those white dots, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this he is now a huge one. Another one there, seven. See how big that is? But over here, just like the hostas here, they didn't grow. The hydrangeas over here, I think there's one I saw yesterday when I was looking around out here. Where is it? My dream, Joe, where are you? Huh. This is bloodroot. Now see, this is, this is um, a flower. This is Heliopsis. Heliopsis and bloodroot. And they're not having a very successful time here. And the purple ones are definitely not. Here it is. This is it. This is a hosta. I mean, not a hosta. This is a hydrangea. And here's another hydrangea and another one. So it, by itself, is now three plants. So I can dig them up, because that's not where I want them. Anymore. Anymore. 
It's too early. They're not open yet. Animals. <laughs> These. See, they bloom for one day. And they shrivel up and fall off. But if you take them off, then you've lost the color. So what do you do? Do you, you want to not have the color, but to have the cleanliness? Oh dear. And if you, those other ones that are not broken yet, these have been done. The other ones that have not opened are going to open. So each, every, every day you get a new one. So on this, there's going to be two days of them. Here it's going to be today. This was yesterday, I guess. This looks like it's done. I'll leave it just in case it's opening. I guess it looks better without them. So if you take these four flowers and you make them into something pretty, like you make a necklace or a bracelet or something, whatever, or you eat them, they're, they're peppery. They're kind of nice, but they're slimy and peppery. So these hydrangeas, see here's one here, that's one root base, and another one here, and then there's more here. It, they seem to be migrating. So it's like it's a nice little cove of it, isn't it? This is where we dump our ashes. And my hammocks need to come off those trees. They've been there and I just need to come out with scissors. Oh, I swallowed a bug. Mm. Well protein. Oh, little trash over there. So this is where I had my spa. This is my Nancy's spa, right? It started out as a campsite, but the trees have closed in a lot. But it was a, a we had a little fire area here one time. The hostas that were beside the bathtub. I moved the bathtub. I put it up on the deck. These little bushes have been the same size for 20 years. They just keep the understory cool. That's their purpose. They don't, they're never supposed to grow. They don't have room. There's no sunlight. It's sad that birches get old because these are beautiful. When we moved here, these birches were, you know, just about the height of whatever up in there somewhere. And now they go way up there. They've tripled their height, quadrupled it. Well, we've been here 25 years. Isn't it amazing when you can when you have been somewhere long enough that it is, you, you, things have decomposed that you have built, right? I think that's amazing. When you're in a place long enough that you can build something that's brand new and watch the whole thing completely decay in, in the amount of time you're there. Sorry, I get a little distracted. I'm always distracted. We should call my na distracted Nancy today. Ah, the clippers, that's right. Those roots of that grape are up in the air. They have to be dealt with quickly. I put this out here to get wet so that I could use it to weave my cedar bark skirt. I have to make it into strips. You know what I figured out? It's so hard to open screens. I decided that the screen was always going to be left there and we would just open the door in front of it and open to just have it. And then if we're going to go in and out, we open both. Okay. Oh, I needed those little clamps too. Oh, we've already passed where they are. We're going to have a birthday party tomorrow and look at this house. I have to hold the Savior's hand to get through this one. <sighs> okay, so here we are back again now. We need a place to put them when we cut them. Some vata. Uta. What size do I want it to be? Should I use something big? 